reply. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dudley Brown and all the incredible folks at the National Association of Gun Rights who are always relentless in the fight to protect and defend America's Second Amendment liberties. You know, back in May, I proudly joined Senator Cruz and Congressman Isis amicus brief in the Mexico v. Smith & Wesson case, and I thank them both for their leadership in this critical matter. You know, Mexico's frivolous lawsuit is nothing more than a pathetic attempt to unjustly pin the blame of violence perpetrated by Mexican cartels onto American firearm manufacturers. I would like to remind them that our God-given Second Amendment freedoms are not a scapegoat for the Mexican government. If the Mexican government wants to blame someone for the cartel's atrocities, how about looking in the mirror? Their inability to combat crime is a testament to their failed policies and inadequate leadership. Instead of confronting this reality, Mexico is attempting to hijack our judicial system, dismantle our sovereignty, and destroy our constitution. We will not allow anti-gun tyrants, foreign or domestic, to violate our unalienable right to keep and bear arms. Because as with any attack on our Second Amendment liberties, shall not be infringed is not simply, is not a suggestion. It is, it is a supremacy clause that will be vigorously defended. Our Second Amendment rights should never be subjected to those heinous attacks because a foreign government can't get their act together. In fact, none of our unalienable constitutional rights or an ounce of our sovereignty will we allow to be threatened in this brazen manner. I'm proud to be here in front of the U.S. Supreme Court with my Second Amendment defending colleagues to take a stand against Mexico's senseless attempt to strangle American firearm manufacturers and to strip the American people of our God-given Second Amendment rights. The Declaration of Independence, the very birth certificate of our nation, clearly states to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, meaning it is the responsibility of our government to secure the people's Second Amendment rights. We take that responsibility very seriously, which is why we are here today. So I urge the Supreme Court to choose common sense, uphold the rule of law, and protect our constitutional freedoms by throwing out Mexico's baseless lawsuit. Thank you, and now I'd like to...